Hey YouTube, welcome to my vlog. First I would like to apologize for the weird ass lighting. I can't get my studio set up right now, it's complicated. Um, but, I, I wanna fill everybody in on my project last month where I didn't spend money on anything frivolous, as well as cover my time at Yomacon. Um, now I didn't spend any money on, well I can't say any, I, I tried really hard not to buy anything frivolous, and that stuff I didn't really need. If I could buy it cheaper some other way, I usually try to do that. Like, as a lot of people know, I drink a lot of Coca-Cola. So I counted uh, spending two bucks at the checkout as um, frivolous spending. So what did I do? Mm, I only bought one 20 ounce of Coke. Uh, keychain, <clears throat> and like a couple other things that I don't really want to talk about, but I spent a total of $50 on what I classified as frivolous spending, and I've got my budget up on a screen behind the monitor. I only saved about $150 uh, on spending. I'm not changing my life over 200 bucks a month. Granted, yes, compounded over time, yeah, but my mental health would probably take a toll, and my mental health is not worth it. Now, another thing I brought about this video itself is, while I was doing this project, I, I saw a video on TikTok as well as on YouTube from the same guy, where he was talking about poor people are mostly poor because they drink too much Starbucks. Now, I'm going to grant you, if you drink 10 Starbucks a day, you're poor because you drink too much Starbucks. But most of the people that I know that go to Starbucks go at most once a day. Most of the time in the morning, sometimes just in the afternoon or something like that. But they usually only go once a day. And what is it, seven bucks for a, a small coffee there? You ain't going to change too much of your life by not going to Starbucks. You'll save a significant amount, but you're not going to change too much of your life by not going to Starbucks. Ultimately, the reason that I do purge months like that is a discipline thing. Either I find out I'm spending too much money, or I'll put pressure on myself to just challenge myself. That's it. All right, now let's go on to Yomacon. I, I, this, Yomacon is the second convention I've been to since the pandemic started, uh, and the second convention this year. Um, I went to Monroe Pop Fest. I didn't get too many uh, pictures at Monroe Pop Fest. There wasn't too many cosplayers there, but I had a good time at both conventions. I have to rework on my social skills again, because just not doing stuff. My social skills kind of tanked. Um, so I am working on that. I also had a, a, did a whole bunch of TikToks, which was, I did it in, some of them in a vlog format, some of them in a more TikTok thing where it's audio over it. Some of those are fun. Here's a series of my TikToks. I want to say it's going to be about five, six minutes in length. For them by themselves um all right everybody while we're at it after after my tiktok videos i'm gonna have a little discussion on youtube um and but it's gonna be a small one it's probably not worth it if you're planning on cutting out now just cut out oh my photography videos tend to do really well so here's one for you it's a good tip research what you're doing if you're going to an event. This weekend I'm going to an event called Yomacon and there was some updates. The people mover will be down over the weekend. Um, so I have to know where I have to go. So I park closer to it. I have to go into this little dot right here, TCF Center. And it's also between there and way up north just past this part is the GM Renaissance Center. Which is going to be somewhat annoying because now I have to walk this entire path here. Um, it's really not as far. For whatever reason, this looks a lot farther than it actually is. So yes, 
I know I have to start out here and somehow have to get up there after I get my tickets. Good thing I go to a lot, so I know the area really well. All right, I'm getting ready to leave. I have a few errands to run, and then I got to go to a Yomacon. And today's a day that I mostly just pick up my tickets. Um, one, I realize the mirror is a mess, but let's talk about what I'm wearing and why I'm wearing it. I picked a T-shirt. It says "Live Long and Prosper" um, for the shirt because I'm gonna be wearing a coat. I'm gonna be standing in line. I don't know how warm it's gonna be in the building. And then just some jeans. I'm taking my camera gear. Um, just in case, if the line goes fast, I'll run around and try to take some shots. If it takes a while, I'm going to come home because I want to get up early tomorrow so that I get a good parking spot, especially if the people mover is indeed closed. Um, okay, prepare for a torrent of TikToks today, including a long three-minute one, maybe. All right, have a good one. I just left for Yomacon. Um... I'll be there a little later than when they open. I never go before they open. Sometimes they're late opening. I also would like to apologize for any of my hearing impaired people. I might not be able to get the captions um, done up on them as my internet usually sucks down there. But I'll try. All right. Um, see you guys at Yoma. Let's talk about one thing I hate about downtown Detroit. If you're not lined up perfectly when you turn onto a road, you're going to miss whatever exit you have to get on. Uh, or whatever. I had to drive around Kobo like five times till I got to the parking structure I was trying to get to. I was able to see it was open when I got off the freeway. But I couldn't get over to it. And downtown is very weird. Like I went up on the other side of downtown before I got back. And you can tell I'm not experienced down here. All right, have a good one. See you inside. Well, that's it. I got my badge uh, right here. Um, it only took me like four and a half hours to get it. I'm going straight home. I'm not getting any shots today. Um, see you guys tomorrow. I already apologize, I know this is going to be a longer than normal video, but I, one of the questions I received when I started this project is how do I determine who I'm going to uh, get a picture of while walking around the convention? Well, first thing is first, I have an anxiety disorder, so it takes me a minute before I even get started. And after I get started, there are only really three categories of people I won't get a picture of. Anybody who looks like they're relaxing or... Uh, needing to disconnect from the convention world, anybody who's eating, and if they're on their cell phone. If they're on their cell phone, I might hang around for like a second or two and then ask when they get off. If it lasts longer than that, I'll just walk away and hope I catch them later. But for the most part, that's my criteria. All right, um, have a good one. And for my lunch today, I've gotten chicken tenders, and a Tropicana from the Detroit made uh, concession stand at TCF. All right, I ran out of business cards. I dropped my camera off at the car. I had to come back up to go to the bathroom before I left. And I'm gonna leave for the day. I'm only leaving early mostly because um, I wanna get in super early tomorrow morning. As the people movers down, I usually park at Kobo, uh, I'm sorry, at Greektown on Saturday, but um, but I want to show you guys something. Alright, this is the TCF Center. And... Excuse me. Pretty much if you walk all the way down there, that's Renaissance Center all the way down there. I actually like the way it looks when it's all foggy. Um, it's really not that far of a walk. A lot of people freaked out thinking that was a far walk. But I usually take it every Saturday. Um, because the people mover will get packed and super busy. And uh, here's the rest of Kobo Center. Well, TCF Center. Yeah, I kind of like coming down here when I know what I'm doing. All right, now I'm gonna run down to my car and leave. It's usually a lot earlier than I normally leave, so. I will catch you guys tomorrow. 
here I am Saturday morning getting ready for another convention. This is actually the earliest I've ever woken up for a convention. Packing a lunchbox. I'll show you. Now, typically, I uh, buy my lunches at the conventions, but for the times that I'm thirsty and I get hungry, or shaky even, I pack a little snack box. It's pretty big. I've got two Fago Red Pops. Underneath it, I have several cans of Coke, Coca-Cola. I put some granola bars, um, some moon pies. Now, for people wondering, yesterday I intentionally left with um, not that many business cards. Today, I have my camera bag full. I have my lunchbox pretty full. I have a couple of pockets that are full of them. And I also have a stack for my coat pocket. I won't run out of business cards this whole weekend. All right, see you. So just chill out, you know, drink a 7-Up, eat a moon pie, quit murdering people. Uh, that was quick. I was sitting here at, and at almost at 9 o'clock sharp. This line formed really fast. It goes around the corner. Well, another day is almost down. Saturday is winding down a little earlier than normal. Uh, but there's some minor controversy, I won't go into it here, uh, with the dance. But, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time, because I'll show you. This is pretty much the street in front of TCF Center right now. This line right here, full of cars, is where my car would have to come out to get out of the parking garage. And that's the only way out. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of time for the traffic to clear out. I'll run around and grab a couple more shots. Probably won't get too many more because my back and my feet are killing me. I've been I've been working for over 13 and a half hours now, so uh, I will catch you guys next time. Getting ready to head out for day three at Yomacon. Well, technically day four, um, but. I didn't do anything on day one, and a lot of people consider it day zero anyway. Uh, I still had stuff in my lunch pail, uh, so I'm just going to take the rest of that, which is a couple cans of Coke, and two Fagos, and some granola bars. I got my camera. It's a little later than I was hoping to leave, but I'll see you guys there. And I just got here about ten minutes ago. I walked around a little bit. Not too many people are here yet, so I don't feel too bad for leaving late, so. Um, yeah. Sundays are always a laid back kind of day, so. Watch out for the blog post of stuff that's coming out. Have a good one, everybody. Now, before anybody asks, why don't I use my cell phone? Well, I am. That's what I'm using right now. But I do myself, I use a lot with my cell phone. And just making this video, I've had to restart this video five times because I've gotten a message. 
I keep forgetting to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So, I'm looking for a dedicated camera for vlogging. But I don't want anything too expensive. I'm still on the lookout. I, I want to keep the price under 200 bucks. So, I might look on the uh, Facebook Marketplace for that. I'm not going to buy the Z7 II or the Z6 II. And I, I am looking also to jump up to full frame. Um, but I am going to wait for the threes to come out. Nikon surprised the hell out of a lot of people with their uh, Z7 or Z9, I'm sorry, Z9 series, um, and how it's actually a game changer in the camera field. So I'm going to give them a little bit of time, wait for the third, come out, see how that is. And the biggest reason I want, I'm looking to stick with Nikon is to keep my lens set up. But I don't know. Ever, the the cameras options I'm still kind of juggling I can't afford it until after Christmas so I'm not really doing anything with that anyway just looking window shopping all right um that's really it I think I've rambled on too long I've noticed tick uh, YouTube has been doing kind of crappy uh, my last couple shorts got zero views um, and I really only get like five views on my vlogs so YouTube for me is mostly going to be just for me. If it's a vlog, it's something I'm going to come back and watch. I'm not going to stress out because I don't have a video up for a couple of months. Um, yeah. I, I am planning to do a whole video on itself of other things as well that I have problems with on YouTube, but that's for another video for another time. All right, everybody. Have a good day.